All right, let's talk about backup and restore, one of my favorite topics. This is interesting. Um, what's interesting about group policy backup and restore is that it's so easy to do, and most people don't. So your first homework assignment, if you haven't already written anything down, is for the love of God, create a backup of your group policy objects. It's super easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? Just have them all backed up. Now, the one thing that's especially interesting we have, to, we have to do this by a little storyline, is what is backed up and what isn't backed up. Let's say I have a GPO and it's linked over to sales and marketing, and it's Monday night, and I back up the GPOs. So I've got a backup, and it was linked to sales and marketing. And then Tuesday, I unlink it from sales, and I link it over to education. And then on Wednesday, I unlink it from marketing, and I go over to nurses. And then on Friday, I, oops, I make a mistake, and I delete the GPO by accident. So what happens to a deleted GPO? What happens to the links? They, they go away. No problem. You see, I'll go back to the videotape, and I'll drop the GPO back into the swimming pool, and what should happen with the links? Should they go back to sales and marketing, where they were originally? Should they go back to education and nursing, where they were at the end? Kind of hard to know, right? If you put them back at the beginning, is that a safe operation? Linking them back to sales and marketing, is that safe? No. Why not? Because you don't know what's happened between Monday and Friday. If you link them back to the original location, again, it could be a CLM or career limiting move. You don't know what badness you're about to reapply to sales and marketing. So what does the group policy restoration engine do? Nothing. It puts the GPO and its settings back in the swimming pool and tells you where it was linked, but doesn't actually do the linking for you. Okay? It's up to you to know. It'd be great if you had a time machine and knew what was happening Thursday night right before Friday before you deleted it, but you can't know that. You can only know where it was at backup time, not at blow-up time. Does that make sense? So when it comes time to see these things, inside the backup, there's this thing called Manage Backups, View Settings, I'm going to show you during the demonstration. And that is where you can actually see where the, setting, where the links were at backup time. Um, what's especially interesting about backup is that you can keep backing up into same or alternate directories. For instance, if I had a group policy object called, um, if, I, if I had a directory called every GPO I'm ever going to back up in my entire life. I could back up every single day and never overwrite a single GPO. Super cool. I'll show you how they do that in just a minute. My suggestion is that you have 52 directories, one for each week of the year, and back up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday into one directory. And then you know that you have three backups every week into the same folder. And you can script it. The downloadable GPMC, the one that's available today, in the C program files GPMC scripts directory has a file called backup all GPOs.wsf. And on the fake CD ROM in the advanced class, I have the downloadable scripts equivalent for the GPMC 2.0. In other words, they don't ship with the GPMC 2.0. But you can go to the Microsoft Download Scripting Center and get them yourself. And the whole point of the story is script it. That's homework assignment number two. So back it up manually today, script the heck out of it tomorrow. That's the goal. Then you'll always have it available if any, there's ever a problem. Again, um, it will not restore on top of current GPOs. Uh, sorry, it, you, can't, you can restore on top of current GPOs. If you have a GPO in place that's linked to sales and marketing, let's say you edited the GPO and you made a mistake, you're like, oh, darn, I obliterated some setting. What was I thinking? And it's linked to sales and marketing. And you go back to the, to the um, archive and you want to restore it on top of itself. What happens to the links? Right, they stay in place. Remember story one? Story one was I deleted the group policy object, so the link's deleted with it. Story two is I, I made a setting screw up, so I've got a GPO linked to sales and marketing. The link state stays the same during the, during the restore process. That's the takeaway. Okay? Finally, you can restore older GPOs. There's no restrictions. If you find a GPO that's old and crusty, from an archive somewhere, you're like, yeah, you know what? Those settings for Internet Explorer, that's what we really need. No problem. You can get those back. No, no penalty for however old they are. 